Hello, hello. Hello, students. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Good night. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Um, just coming to the university. Ah, you're just coming from university? Oh, my God. Yeah. What time do you finish classes? Um, 8, 8 p.m., but... With the traffic and the ah, yeah. oh my god! So, but do you study far from your house? Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the, so, the car with the car is more faster. But, it's faster. Uh huh. It's faster. Yeah, but in with the traffic in the night is just uh so complicated. I know, I know. It is it is very difficult, right? The moment of the traffic and all these things. And and I mean, just going around the city, is, it's very complicated, at least here in El Salvador, right? Yeah, totally. It is, it is really difficult. And do you only have classes at night? Yeah, just this day. The other days I have class more in the, in the day. Class. Earlier, you say earlier in the day. Thanks, that work. Okay, you have classes earlier. Earlier is like más temprano. Earlier in the day. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Welcome to Thank another you. week. Okay. Another yes. week and another class. I am very happy to have you here and for sure to see you once again in, in another opportunity of learning. Um, I really appreciate all your audios. I have enjoyed them a lot. Yo los he disfrutado. Yo disfruto mucho escuchar sus audios. And it, it is really nice because I can see that every day it's getting better and better, right? It, maybe the first days was we, it was very different, very difficult. But now it is getting better, right? And you sound more confident and you sound different. So I, I am very happy with uh, the change that you are having, okay? Eso que solo llevan cinco días. Imagínense cuando lleven como quince o catorce. That would be great. It would be very, very good. So uh, I am very glad that you are taking this seriously and that you are doing the things right because that it's going to help you a lot for your performance, right? That is going to help you with, with your English and for sure with your pronunciation. Okay, so I am going to ask five of you. Le voy a preguntar a cinco de ustedes. How was your good weekend? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, sweetie. How was your weekend? What did you do? Ajá. Uh -huh. I need five volunteers. No lo puedo obligar. No lo voy a decir. Sí. Raúl, go ahead. Okay, okay teacher. Uh, I had a very uh, nice weekend because I, I shared with my family. I visited uh, my mother. Um, I used to visit her every every monday uh-huh monday yeah uh -huh. today is monday, monday. <laughs> <laughs> yes today is monday uh -huh. no uh, last day was sunday sunday uh, i used to visit her every sunday ah okay every sunday uh-huh and then i had a um, very nice surprise because a uh, uh, was there my sister and, and my and my brother? Uh, I had a lot of time. Don't see them without and seeing we, them. Uh -huh. And we we had a, a good moment uh, together. Oh, that is so beautiful. It is so good to know that you had a good time with your family. Thank you very much. Very much. Reactions, please, for our friend. That was so good, right? It is nice. Don't forget to go and visit your family members. That's good. Okay. Let's see. Who's the next one? Thank you, Raul. Next. What did you do on your weekend? You did it on the audio, people. <laughs> you can do it. 
What activities did you do? Hi, teacher. Hello, Nidia. Hello. Tell me. Hi. 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 Um, I uh, worked the, the last weekend. Oh, me too. <laughs> Every. You work all the weekend? Uh, solo. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, today. ¿Cómo se dice descansé? I rested. I rested. I rested. I rested. I rested today. And so, but my family, um, Salvador City. Uh huh. I don't traffic terrible. <laughs> yes. Yes. There, there was. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, you are you are in a in a restaurant. I talk on my home. <laughs> you are are you in a restaurant right now? Yes, uh, sí, en el camino venimos como como si como si en el camino comimos venimos comiendo. Okay, we estamos comiendo algo en el camino. We stop on the way back. Okay, eso. We stop the on the stop way back. The, the okay, we <laughs> stopped on the way back. That's the, that's the meaning. Es que hicimos paradas en el camino de regreso. Very good. Okay. She's going to bring pupusas for everybody. Don't worry. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Elvira, I cannot see your camera. Jancy, Catherine, Mr. Eduardo, Reinita, Jeremias. Yes. And help me with your camera as well. Tell me. Okay. Hey, good night. Um, good evening. Saturday, good evening. I work, good evening. Sorry. <laughs> and Saturday, I work only mom. In the afternoon, I went to visit some friends. And at night, we celebrate the birthday of one team. Uh, on Sunday, I visit my family, which my dog and at night we eat pupusas. We ate pupusas, right? We visited. We visited my family. Yes. Okay. And you say good evening when you enter and it is still the night. Good night is when we go to bed. Okay. A la 10 de la noche les digo yo, have a good night. Good night. Because you are going to sleep. Espero que se vayan a acostar, vean. No se queden ahí viendo redes sociales. Straight to bed. To sleep. Okay. No Netflix, no nothing. Okay, good. Thank you, Jeremias, for uh, your information about your weekend. That was very good. And let's see, one more. One more. Teacher. Yep. Teacher. Yes, Jancy. How do you say commemoration in English? I commemorated. Commemorate. Uh, Commemorate. Okay. Oh, what do you want to say? But depending on the depending on the context too. I, I went uh, to Isalco uh -huh. uh, a commemorate. To commemorate what? Last week. No, no, pero uh, cuando decimos, ¿conmemoramos qué? Uh, how do you say insurrección campesina? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I think I, I can bet that is insurrection. Podría apostar que insurrection. Es insurrection. I can bet that, but let me check. Okay, I will check it as well. Okay. Oh, but that that's a nice, I mean, activity. I didn't know about that one, right? La insurrección campesina. Okay, let's see. My my phone is working, but I can I can almost assure that it's insurrection. Las palabras más complicadas que usted se imagina casi siempre son iguales. Okay. So, but I am going to look it. So you did that during the weekend? Yes. Uh, I went uh, to commemorate mm -hmm. uh, la insurrección uh, of 1932. 1932, you see, it was insurrection. <laughs> I told you. Insurrection, you. okay. Insurrection commemorate of the 1932. 1932. That was a new event in El, in El Salvador because I didn't know. You see, we learn about English, about vocabulary, about culture, about everything. Now the homework is 
go and investigate what it is. Ahora todos tenemos la tarea de, de ir a investigar qué fue la insurrección de 1930 y cuánto? 32. Okay. 1932. 1932. So we need to go and investigate what happened in 1932 in El Salvador. I don't know that much, but I need to investigate. So thank you, Jancy. You see, you had thank a very you, interesting teacher. weekend. I'm sorry, means I can turn on the camera. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Elvira. Okay. My last volunteer will be Mr. Jose Daniel. Oh. <laughs> Who wanted to do it? ¿Quién lo quería hacer? Like, me, me teacher. Okay, and then Joanna, don't worry. <laughs> Mr. Wow. Jose Daniel and then Joanna. <laughs> Vamos, Jose Daniel, cuéntenos acerca de su weekend. The microphone, please. No, creo que no, no me, no me, no lo escucho, Daniel. Ok. Uh, Joana, you can start mientras José soluciona su micrófono. Ok. I went to the church with my family on Saturday, all day. Uh, we arrived at seven o'clock to the house uh, with dinner and watched TV a little. Okay. And then we went to sleep at 10 p.m. o'clock. At 10, on uh -huh, 10 p.m. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. On Sunday, my husband and I, I went to the church again, but that uh, we entertained. Uh, how do you say agasajando? Agasajando. Agasajar what? To give me the complete sentence. ¿Qué es lo que quieres decir? Eh, agasajar a los ancianos. We celebrated, you say. We celebrated the elder. We celebrated the older. Elder, we... the elder. Elders elder. son los, los mayores. We elder. Elder, we elder. Elder. We elder. We celebrated the we elder. Celebrated to elder. The elder, I mean, the elder the is elder. los mayores, a los mayores, right? No, lo, no decimos los viejitos, the elder. Yeah. Uh -huh. The elder with a lunch and surprise. Hey. The, the elder enjoyed it a lot. Okay, they were very, I can bet that they were very happy, right? Thank you. Thank you very much, Joanna. Thank you. Thank you all that you share. Uh, right now, I am going to stop, uh, Jose Daniel. You are, I'm going to go back to you in a moment because I have uh, Leslie Victoria from Inglés Corporativo who is going to give you a couple of very important announcements, okay? So, Victoria, bienvenida. Hola, hola. Muy buenas noches. Muy buenas noches a todos. Gracias por el espacio, teacher. No les quito mucho de su tiempo. Esta clase está bastante interesante, ¿verdad? Únicamente quiero darles una indicación importante. Recuerden que es obligatorio, indispensable, necesario que vayamos al día con la plataforma educativa. Por favor, eh, vayamos avanzando. Recuerden que pueden ir eh, adelantando las secciones si ustedes consideran que pues, los ejercicios eh, ustedes los pueden resolver. Siéntanse en completa libertad de ir avanzando, ir progresando ok, es mejor ir adelantados que estarnos atrasando, teacher está aquí para apoyarnos, para ir solventando cualquiera eh, las actividades, las secciones y también si ustedes eh, en el transcurso eh, de la tarde, de la mañana, ustedes consideran que pues eh, tienen dificultad con algún ejercicio que puede ser un obstáculo, ¿verdad? Para su progreso en la plataforma, no duden en escribirnos. Nosotros como gestores estamos pendientes, ¿verdad? Y estamos para apoyarlos, para servirles de manera que ustedes pues saquen eh, de la mejor manera este curso, ¿ok? Muchas gracias. Esa es un, la única indicación que tenía para ustedes. Cuento, ¿verdad? Con esa responsabilidad y ánimo, ánimo. Eh, echémosle ganas y sigamos aprendiendo, ok? Pasen feliz noche. Good night, thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you very you. much, Victoria. Thank you very much. Thanks, Victoria. Gracias, Victoria. Eh, you see, as okay, as you can see here, it is very necessary, right? It is very, very necessary to 
actually keep advancing on the platform. El día de hoy vamos a ver las secciones 1 y 2. Veamos si ya todos las hemos completado. Ustedes pueden ir y avanzar toda la plataforma si ustedes quieren. Y me dice, teacher, yo la terminé en una sentada que me di toda la tarde. Y la hice. That's perfect. Yeah. I mean, you can do it. If you get stuck, si se traban en un ejercicio, send me a message. Teacher, I need help with this. And I will be more than glad to help you. Okay? Raise your hand if you finish section number one. Can you terminate the section one? Yeah? Done? Done, right? Section number two? Done. Done. Section number three? Done. 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 Section number four? Done. <laughs> done. <laughs> hey, I heard it done. That's good. Good, good. Section number five? No. Not, not yet. <laughs> but that was good. I mean, if you finish one, two, three, four, perfect. That's perfect. Okay. ¿Quién ya terminó la sección cuatro? Vamos a ver, se me pasó ver quién había sido. Ajá. ¿Quién ya terminó la sección cuatro? Yo vi un don ahí, no sé. <laughs> bueno. No se ganó el hashtag de la noche. ¿verdad? Be like teacher Nati. <laughs> okay. Because in the previous group, I had one that already finished the platform. Entonces se inventaron el hashtag be like Ana. Porque Ana ya terminó la plataforma. So, <laughs> no tenemos hashtag todavía. Pero si mañana ya alguien terminó la cuatro, you will be the hashtag, okay? Of the night. Okay, my dear students. We are going to move a little bit on. Oh, sorry. I was missing Mr. Jose Daniel. Yes, go ahead. Tell us about your weekend. The microphone, sweetie. El micrófono todavía no me sale activado. There you go. Ahora. Yes. In Spanish or English? Teacher? In English, como <laughs> I don't know Spanish. Todavía, todavía me trabo. No, but it's okay. That's why we are here. We are learning. Okay, teacher. Um, my weekend, I do following activities. Um, Saturday, I'll go. I with, went. Uh, I went. I went. Wait. Mm -hmm. I drive around 10 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I had breakfast. I had okay. breakfast. I had breakfast. At 10 here. in the morning. Uh huh. In the morning, I'll then again out with my family. I went out with my family. Uh huh. Eating sonsonate. You, I ate in sonsonate, right? I ate in sonsonate. Comimos mother. in sonsonate. Uh huh. This is my mother. I visited. I visited my, my mother. mother. Uh huh. Uh, returning. I, I returned. At night. At night, uh -huh. at night, uh-huh. At night, uh-huh. My tire from the trip. I to was hotel. tired, you say. I was yes. tired. Okay. And Sunday? On I Sunday, uh-huh. Forget. Uh, got up. I got up, uh-huh. And had a breakfast. Lay into go shopping. At the supermarket. I went to the supermarket, right? I went to the supermarket. And what else? Se me, se me volvió a ir el... No, 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 but it's okay. I can listen to you. Le oigo, le oigo. Ah, por ahí. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you went to the supermarket and then? Just that. Por ahí, son las... Only that. So you say only that. Only that is solamente, right? Thank you very much. You see, only that. Okay, very good. The only effort that is not good is the one that is not made, right? El único esfuerzo que no es bueno es el que no se hace. So you did your best effort. You practice your English. You learned, right? So that's the idea that you don't say, no, teacher, I can't. Aquí el no puedo no se vale. Si no puede... Podemos <laughs> todo. But we are vale. going to help you. Okay? Okay. Vale. No, that's the idea, right? Aquí si no aprende a nadar, todos lo empujamos. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Bro, we help you. you. We help you to swim in this English ocean. Good. Very good job. Thank so thank you very much for sharing. 
with all of us about your weekend and about the different things that you did. Well, we are going to go over the platform right now. Then we're going to go back to the questions. We are going to go over the platform and we are going to check on the exercises for sections one and two. I know you already finished, but we are going to go and do this. Do all of you have your manual? Todos tienen su manual de estudio, ¿verdad? Yes? Yes. 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 yes teacher. Perfect. You all have it. That's very good. If not, remember that it's on the platform. Si no recuerdan que lo pueden encontrar en su plataforma, aquí donde dice Students Manual Number One. Okay. So, section number one, as we were working on this, it was about past tense, right? It was about past tense and it has different exercises. This one has one, two, three, four, five different exercises for this. All the ones that have a little pencil are evaluations, okay? Todos los que tienen el lapicito son evaluaciones que tienen que estar completadas. Si en su progreso de repente usted ve algo que una de las barras no está 100%, es porque ha dejado algún ejercicio sin hacer. Ahorita porque no los hemos hecho, pues no están enmarcadas. Pero cuando usted la termina, toda la barra tiene que estar hasta el 100%. ¿Ok? No deje ninguna abajo del 100. Si no, vamos a revisar qué es lo que hemos dejado sin completar. So that's the tip. In section number one, we have five different exercises, okay? Exercise number one, it's pretty simple, and it says, choose the best response to the question. Did she play soccer in high school? What will be the best answer? Uh -huh. no, no, she didn't she play, didn't play, play soccer, soccer in high school? Or no, she, she didn't play soccer? The second. The second one. Why not the first one? ¿Por qué no la primera? Because auxiliary mm -hmm. and very, very in past. Excellent job. That's the answer that I wanted. If you have an auxiliary, the verb is normal, right? We were explaining that in the past tense class, right? She didn't play soccer. Auxiliary, normal verb. Okay, choose the best response to the question, when did you graduate from college? What is the best answer? The second one. I graduated from college graduated in 2005. Yes. Okay, the first one is not past tense. And the third one has did graduated. You cannot use two past tenses there. So that's not possible. What is the best question to match the response? I grew up in Houston, Texas. What is the question? The Where first one. The where did you where do you grow where did you, up? Where where did you grow where? up you have auxiliary normal verb in the second one you have where did you grew up right this is past tense mm. and where you grew up is not a complete mm. question choose the best question to the response i began to study english two years ago uh-huh the first, the first one. The first, the first one. one. When the first did you one. begin to study English? The first one. Yes. And the next one. Choose the best response to the question. Did you have a pet when you were a child? Yes, no. I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I, did. yes, yes I, I did. Right. Yes, I did. I have a pet named Roger. That is simple present. No, yeah. I did have a pet. It's not an option, right? Yes, I did. And you have correct answers, right? Very good job. The next evaluation that you have is like, which is the correct use? You have to choose the correct form of the answer. He was born in Spain. He were born in Spain. He weren't born in Spain. He was born in Spain. He was born. He was born. He, she, it, and I was. Then you, we, they, where, okay? That's for you to keep in mind. You should say, my parents, plural, were in, 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 in France, right? Because was is for singulars. What is a grammatically correct answer to the question, where were you born? I was born in I, May, I was in born Mexico. in Mexico. I uh, was born in peru i wasn't born in peru right i was born 
was, I... he, she, it, and I. Was. My wife and I. Where? 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 Two people, where? right? My wife and I. Plural. The English quiz. Only was, one thing. It, it was, was. It was, was, was a, a, little, a little. A little. A little difficult. 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 Okay. Yes. The English quiz is it, right? It's yeah. it. It's a third person, right? Was. Very good. So that's the form of the answer. What about the next one? Which option is a correct way to answer the question? Were you a good student in high school? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was right? Yes, I was. In this case, yes, I was, right? Were you a good student in high school, people? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was a good student related to education, right? Yeah. I was a rebel. Yeah, in comportamiento, I was a rebel, <laughs> but I was a good student. <laughs> Aquí donde me ven todo angelical. <laughs> I was a rebel. No, nah, I'm kidding. I, I was a good student. I was, yeah, que la del CDE, que no sé qué, la del grupo de baile, la de aquí, la de allá. I was a very good student, right? Rebel, but good. <laughs> the next one, put these words in order. You born where in city? In this. Where did you born in the city? Were you born in this city? Because in this one, it's a question. And the questions oh. start with was or where. And in this case, were you born in this city? Because it has the question mark at the end. What about the next one? Form a question to match this answer. My favorite subjects were math and science. What were, what your, were your favorite, what subjects, were your favorite in a subjects in a school? Very good job. What were your favorite subjects in school? Right? What were? Because it's plural. And the next one, which is correct. How many was Peter born? When was Peter born? Or where was Peter born? When was Peter born? When was Peter born? Peter born? Excellent. In this one, say where. Where, but it's not the where of the place, right? Mm -hmm. Where. That's not correct. And the last one, choose the best question to match this response. I was 11 years old. Where were you born? I'm sorry. How old are you? How old were you in 1999? In 1999, I was 15 years old, right? Creo que el que hizo la plataforma tiene la misma aquello. <laughs> How old were you in 1999? I was 15 years old, okay? Very good job. So that was the exercise, right? That was the exercise done, right? It was pretty simple. And I hope that you all have done it like this. The next one that we have here is... Mm -hmm. Where did Jerry grow up? She grows. She grows. She up. grew up. She grew up in England. Okay. She grew up, right? She, she grew, grew up. up. She grew because up. in she this, case, right. you cannot say she grows up because this is not simple present, right? Mm. And it's like she grew up. She grew up. She and grew also up. in simple present in the past, it doesn't oh. exist, right? She yeah. grew up in Brighton, England. Did Jerry have a hobby? Jerry uses to paint and she still paints today. Jerry used to paint and she still paints today. What is the meaning of used to? Solia. Ella solia pintar. Mm -hmm. Jerry used to paint and she still paints today. The, the next one, it says, uh, choose the best response for the question. What games did you used to play when you were a kid? I used to play used basketball to play. and used football, play basketball, when basketball, basketball, when basketball, basketball when I was a kid. When I was a kid. Very good. I used to play, right? I used to, that's the past tense. Ahí ya tiene la forma pasada. Entonces, mm -hmm. los verbos son normales. I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. Then... See, okay. Ah, okay. Elvira had already finished section four. 
Y ahí nos mandó en el, en el chat. Entonces Elvira es nuestro hashtag de la noche. Hashtag be like Elvira. <laughs> she sent it on the chat. Did you see it? So she's, she's there. Hashtag Elvira. Very good. Choose the best response to the question. What did you use to collect when you were a kid? I used to collect comic books when I was a kid. I used to collect comic books when I was a kid, right? Did you used to collect something when you were kids, people? ¿Qué coleccionaban yes. ustedes? What did you used to collect? What? Uh, in my case, remember, and um, um, cars de uh, Pokémon. <laughs> oh, Pokémon cars! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Okay, yes, Pokemon and, cards. Uh -huh. Cards Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon Ball. Stephanie, what did you use to collect? A future. <laughs> uh -huh. eh, el futuro de book. Ah, cards. you want you want to collect. You want to collect. Ah, yeah. Me Voy too. por poquito. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I see casi nada, right? You used to collect. Uh, you used to collect. I remember that I used to collect tazos. Tazos, do you remember the tazos? Yes. And yes. also, yes. also <laughs> yelocos. I used to collect the yelocos. I don't know if you if you have seen them. But I used to collect boats. Boats. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. You see, everybody has something different, right? Or. Yeah. Right, the different things, the little cards, the little uh, toys, and the all the Pokemon cards. That was good. <laughs> ¿Cuál era el otro que tenía tarjetas? Que era, ay, no me acuerdo cómo se llamaba. Y there was a cartoon that used to have cards que tenía cartas y todo mundo. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! It's true. I remember that. Yu-Gi-Oh! And they say like, that's from the devil. Don't do it. Yeah. I am still here, don't worry. <laughs> My last job was easy and relaxing. I work from 9 to 4, from Monday to Friday and had weekends off. Used I to. Used, to. used to work, right? I used to work uh, from 9 to 4. I used to work, solía trabajar. So something that you used to do. And the last exercise on the platform for section number one, was the following. It says, which one is correct? Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Or did you used to about money when you were younger? The first one. Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? The second. I know it's a difficult second. question, right? The second, the second one. The second. This, the second the one. Second one. The, first the second one. It's the, the first, first one. No, the second one. The okay. Second. Listen. The first one. It is the first one because when you say used to, the past tense is in used to, right? Aquí yes. tenemos que hacer lo pasado. Did you yeah. used to worry about money when you were younger? And you say like, aha, but teacher, it has the auxiliary. Yeah. Okay. You say like, teacher, pero es que used to tiene el pasado en D. No, right? Remember the use of the auxiliary. Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Because here you have the past tense in the auxiliary D. Okay? Mm -hmm. It is a difficult question, but I have to ask you. Do you worry about money now? Sometimes. Sometimes. All the times, all the times, time. all, all the times, all the times, all the times. Of course. Teacher, ¿por qué me pregunta eso? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what about when you were younger? Cuando tenían 12, 13. Nothing, right? I didn't worry. I didn't worry about oh, money, right? Ooh, and, now, and now you realize, right? I always say, I always say that to my mother. Yo le digo a mi mamá, <laughs> no sé cómo hiciste, tenías tres. And I only have one. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you used to worry about money? Which one is correct? Did you used to follow politics five years ago? Yes, number one. That is correct. That is correct. Follow politics. Or did you used to follow with politics five years ago? Did you used to no. politics? No, right? That's not correct. 
Choose the best question to match this answer. I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now I'm too busy to care how I look. What did you the first use? One. What did you use? The first one. The, the, the first question. one is correct. What did you used to care about when you were younger? Right? What did you used to care about? Okay, and now the question is, did you care about your appearance before or now? All the time. All the time. That, that was my answer, <laughs> right? It's like, yeah, maybe because we are in a we were in a different generation, right? Nosotros pasamos por las etapas de que que emo, que rocker, no que. <laughs> so in the past, it was like different. It was like, así soy, soy un alma libre, mamá, así me he visto. Now you say like, no, I cannot go like that to the office. I have to care what I look, okay? And I am not going to ask you the question, right? ¿Quién pasó por la moda emo y todo eso? I will keep it as a secret. Se lo voy a dejar de secreto, de estado. <laughs> Alejandra. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I, was, I was there, like, yeah. And complete the question. What kind of video games? The number one. Number two. Did you used number to play? Remember auxiliary and then you change the verb. Very good job. Did you used to play when you were a teenager? Okay. Uh, what type of video games did you used to play, people? ¿Qué videojuegos jugaban cuando estaban más jóvenes? Mortal Kombat. Mortal Mario, Kombat. Kart. Mario Kart, Mortal Kombat. What else? Mario Bros. Tekken. Mario Bros. Uh -huh. Tekken, Tekken. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. Yeah, I had a Tamagotchi. That was so nice. The snake, video snake. The snake in the Nokia cell phone, right? <laughs> We were, no divertíamos con tampoco. <laughs> that was so good right we used to have the yo-yos and the things and that was so nice and now these kids have everything and they say I am bored Tienen all the platforms and they say they are bored we were happy teacher we were very oh, I, we am were still, happy. I am still happy with what I have pero imagínense estos niños tienen todas las plataformas del mundo the streaming I no sé qué ver we only have channel 2, 4 and 6 and that's it And 12. And 12. And 10. But yeah, we were very happy. We were very happy. Which of the following options is not a count noun? Parking. Parking. Okay. Remember that the count nouns are the ones that you can make plural. Okay. Those are the count nouns. What are some examples of non-count nouns that you cannot count and you cannot make plural? Water, water, air, 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 and wood. Wood. What are some examples of count nouns? ¿Cuáles podemos hacer plurales? Dex, cameras, cameras, books. Okay, because the other ones, sugar and coffee, cannot be plural. You cannot say sugars. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and coffees, you cannot make it right. You can say. Uh, uh, a spoon of sugar, right? A spoon, los medimos por cucharadas, tazas, etc. And the coffee, you say a cup of coffee, you can use it, okay? Why do the buses cause too much pollution? There are too the many buses. buses. There are too many buses and? The buses cause too much pollution because they are old. Because they are old, Everyone. right? Because they are old. And, well, the buses are new, but they are in, in bad condition, right? It's not buses, right? In, that, in these cases, they cause a lot of pollution because they are a lot of pollution because they are old in this case. There might be more than one answer. Why is there too much traffic? And because there are too because many there cars. Are too many cars. Because there because are too many cars. cars. Here in El Salvador, for example, in San Salvador. Oh my God. I think it's one car per person. It's so terrible that it is like, it's traffic everywhere. No hay una calle que usted diga, me voy a ir aquí porque está solo. Nothing. 
everything is totally crowded, right? So that was the first part about counts and non count nouns. And in section number two, the second exercise we have, which one is correct? And I am going to have one, two, three, four, and uh, okay, one, two, three, four. And I am going to ask, let me see, Reina Elizabeth, Alejandra, Karen, and Jose Fernando. Number one, Reina, go ahead. Give me the answer for number one. Auxilio. <laughs> Atrapada. <laughs> um, la segunda opción. <laughs> read it, read it. There aren't. Uh, no puedo pronunciar esa la palabra. Enough, enough. Enough, enough police officer in my city. There aren't enough police officers in my city. What does the public say? Yes or no? Okay, no. Uh huh. I think is uh, there aren't too many police officers in my city. Uh, yeah, the because best, it's right. a count. Very good job. Okay, okay. When you say there aren't too many police officers in my city, mm -hmm. no hay demasiados. The but second one. The second one says there aren't yeah. enough. No hay suficient. Uh -huh. That's the option. <laughs> ya pusieron a temblar el reinito. <laughs> ah, no, te había equivocado, no. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. There aren't enough. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alejandra, go ahead. There is too much traffic, so the government needs to build More highways. More how more, more right. highways. The public says correct. Yes, correct. Fewer. <laughs> you fewer highways. <laughs> no, menos, menos calles, yeah. <laughs> Enough mm -hmm. highways. No, okay. The next one. Let's go with who was the next one? It was uh, Jose Fernando. Go ahead. Uh, number three. Number three. Okay. And there is too much pollution in my city. Pollution, pollution. Pollution. pollution there is too city. much pollution in my city. What is the meaning of pollution? Contamination. Contamination. Very good. And number four. ¿Quién era mi número cuatro? Less noise. Noise. Okay, Karen. Karen, you say less noise. I can't sleep at night. There should be less noise no more noise, noise. yeah <laughs> too much noise no less noise very good number five and it says complete the following statements using quantity expressions too many fewer more and make sure that the capital letters not the periods and the periods as well the government needs to build more more more, more. highways okay and there you go, right? You have your answers that are complete. Alejandra, yes? I have a question. Yes. In the third, uh -huh. uh, can we use the, the expression, there are too much pollution in my city? No, because pollution is uncountable. Como es una situación, la contaminación en general no la podemos hacer plural. So it's uncountable. It's like the water, right? There is. Y con yeah. los incontables ocupamos is. There is. Okay. Thank you yeah. very much. Good question. Yeah. Very good question. And the next one. Let's go with the next exercise. That is the last one for section number two. Okay. And it says, okay, let me choose one, two, three, four, five people. <laughs> que no me escoja a mí, que no me escoja a mí. <laughs> five people. You see, Raúl. Yeah, he looks like he wants to participate. Elizabeth, Cesar Guadalupe, Ever Ernesto, and Sandra Leticia. <laughs> okay, para que despierten ahí en la noche. Good, 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 good. Number one, Raúl. It says here, based on the listening activity from video 2.7, that was the previous one, what which was the question? Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? Do you remember your exercise? Recuerda su ejercicio? The audio, please. Uh, 
Uh-huh. Raulito, yes? Uh, okay. Here I am, teacher. Uh, I remember it's upstairs cross from the duty from shop. From the duty free shop. What is the meaning of duty free? Uh, from the duty free shop. Okay. Mm -hmm. La tienda sin, eh, what is the name of this one? Eh, impuestos, duty free. Based on the listening activity as well, on the previous video. What is the answer? How often do the buses run, Sandrita? Do you remember? Second. They run every they 20 run. minutes or so. Ah, this is yes. like, this is to see if you check on the platform as well. Y no me fueron al Team Marín, huh? Number three. The next one, Elizabeth. Teacher, is Isabel Elizabeth or? Yeah, no, Isabel, Isabel, yes, you. Okay. Oh, the other, I, I call Jenny, the other one, okay? Elizabeth, go ahead. Based on the okay. listening activity, what other information does Eric ask for? Do you remember? Si no, podemos ocupar el comodín del público. <laughs> eh, the cost of a guidebook. The cost of a guidebook. Very good. And we're going to see. The next one. Let's that see. one was the, the last one, the, the third one. The cost of a bus to the city? Yes, yes. I think the yes. cost of a uh, bus. You see? See? That's, that's, that's yes. what happens on the platform. Okay, esto mismo. Es lo que pasa en, en el WhatsApp cuando preguntamos por un ejercicio. Everybody helps. And that's what I wanted to perform here. The cost of a bus to the city. What about number four? Number four. I can own... you hear me? Yes. Can you, can you hear me, please? Okay. Yes, I can listen. Number one. Number Could you one. Tell Could me you where tell the me nearest, internet... nearest internet cafe is. Very good. And the next one. Rephrase the following question as an indirect question. How late do the buses run? Do you know how late the buses run? Very good. Do you know no. how late do the buses run? No. What about? No, 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 no. The, 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 the number is correct. The do you know how late the buses run? Do you know how late the buses run? Do you know how late the buses run? Aquí es el que dice el público. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> it is important. When you have an activity like this one, okay? Si en la plataforma dice, de acuerdo al video tal, you need to watch the video. It's not like, ah, esta, esta, esta. No. You need to watch the video. You need to know, right, what's going on. Mm -hmm. Alejandrita, did you have another question? <laughs> oh, it's okay. No, I forget to. No, don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. Me encanta que tengan ahí su manita levantada. That's correct. So that was that was the 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 form of the questions for section number two. Remember that you can continue working. You can continue working on the next sections, sections number three, number four. You can continue developing them. Okay. You can continue completing them. And here you have to listen to the audio for you to answer the different questions. In this one, you only have three exercises, right? In a section three, solo hay tres ejercicios, people. You need to work on that, okay? But uh, for this one, I wanted to check sections one and two. I know that you have finished the rest as well. Okay, so that was the part of the platform. And before I forget, I will call the attendance. Hoy le voy a pasar lista temprano para que no se me estén durmiendo ahí a la hora que ya nos vamos. Así como, yo soy la última, <laughs> <laughs> no, right now I am going to call the attendance. So, eh, if you haven't finished, si no habían terminado algo de la plataforma o le faltaba alguna, algún ejercicio, you can complete that right now. Remember that Victoria is always checking on you and the advancement that you have on the platform. Okay? So, Alejandra Beatriz. Here, teacher. Thank you very much. Let me just make this bigger. Okay, and this one. Okay. Thank you. Alejandra, Angélica. Okay, Angélica is not here. Cecilia de Los Ángeles. Here, teacher. Thank you. César Guadalupe. Here, teacher. Edgar Abel. Here, teacher. Thank you. Edson Stanley. Present, teacher. Eduardo José. 
present teacher. Elvira Lorenzana. Lorenz, sorry. I always change your name. Thank you. Ever, Ever Ernesto. No, don't leave. No hemos terminado ahorita porque le tomé. <laughs> Antes. Thank you. Ya los había mal acostumbrado. Me. Es que puede que esté mi jefe y no voy a poder decirle good night. Don't Listen. worry, don't worry. <laughs> Isabo. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth. Here I am. Jeremia Ezequiel. Here, teacher. Joana Yesenia. Present teacher. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Fernando. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Katherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Present teacher. Reina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Eh, Samuel Isaac. Creo que él estaba escribiendo en el chat ahí. Ok. Ahora... Sí, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that he, yes, for sure. I got it. Thank you very much. Gracias por ser mis ojos. Me encanta eso. Sandra Leticia. And Jancy Astrid. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Did I miss someone? Alguien que se me haya quedado que no haya mencionado. I think I did with everybody. Miguel Angel, Sandra Leticia, it's not here, and Angelica. Okay, so based on this one, we are still have around five minutes for this one. Thank you for the ones on the chat. Let me just say, <laughs> Eduardo is testing all the different filters. <laughs> okay, yeah, Samuel is, uh, thank you very much. I, I read the message already. Very good. So I am going to go back to the topic and here on your presentation and I'm going to share it with you. Voy a compartir mi pantalla here and here we go. Okay, very good job. Here, I am going to go back here. I have here a little conversation, right? I have a little conversation here and we are going to practice it. In this one, it says, were you born in Korea? Oh, sorry, where were you born, Melissa? Go with me. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were you weren't born in the US. I was no, I came here, here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, yes. I was only 17. I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No. No, 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 my English, English wasn't, wasn't very good. Wasn't very good. Very good. So, I, so English I took English classes for two years, years first. For two years. Years. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Thanks. Your English, Thanks. English, your English, English, English is pretty good. Very good. Very good too. But I, yes, but I was born here. Yes, but I was born here. And the conversation continues. And it says, uh, continue, you go. So. I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you when come, did you did you come, come to, to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, oh. oh. What, was your major? oh. what was your major? What was your major? What was your major? What was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's, That's interesting. interesting. Why did you come to the Okay, that's interesting. Hairstylist. That's interesting. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. What do you think? Well, <laughs> look at Melissa before. Esa es la Melissa de antes. Look at Melissa before with her beautiful hair and everything. And look at that. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> did, did she like the haircut? <laughs> ¿Le gustó el corte a Melissa? 
I think no, it's sur it's surprise. I think she didn't because she says, well, uh, uh, it's, like, it's like when you go to the salon and you say, no, 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 just just a little bit, just just the, the little, the little, uh, just just a little bit, right? And then you are like, Dora, let's clutter, right? Uh, uh, and it's like, but you look beautiful for sure because you cannot do anything. It's like, what can you do? So now you start, go ahead. Where were you born, teacher? Where were you born? Where were you born, teacher. Where were you born Melissa? Melissa? Not teacher, teacher. I'm not Melissa. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, where were you born, teacher? Where, where were you born, born? Where were you born, born Melissa, teacher? <laughs> I was born in El Salvador. Oh, oh, oh so, so you were in El Salvador? In the U.S., you say. So you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999. Mm. 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 <laughs> it might sound different, right? So you say, hmm, you're right. It's like, mm, the doubt, right? Okay, uh, let's continue. Yes, I was only 17. <laughs> Did you go to college right now? Yeah, to so, so Maria, <laughs> ya lo vi. <laughs> yeah, no, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years. Well, well, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, I, but I, I was I born, was born here. here. So, uh, students, where did you grow up? I grew up in Salvador. And I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1999. I went to college here. Oh, eh, oh. What was your major? I was an actor five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because, because I needed because money. Because money. Money. Need um, money. I love it. I love it. So you think? You think? Well, thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, you laugh because you, you know, right? I remember when when I it was like six years ago, I had my hair that was so long. It was like, it was a very, very long. And so I decided to go and donate the hair. And I said, voy a donar el pelo. I said, yeah, that's good. But then, I mean, my hair was so long that I said like, yeah, I am going to go and do it. And they said like, okay, yeah, fantastic, ta, ta, ta. They did the trades, me hicieron cuatro trenzas de pelo, and then, chan, chan, chan. And I was like, it was so quick that I was like, what? <laughs> and the hair was like, just like up to here. Oh and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> that was our, that was my, my expression, right? That's why I love this conversation because this was my but face. But did you see it, teacher? I, I was, I, I don't know. I didn't know what to feel. No sabía ni qué sentir. It was, it was so quick. And I was like, what? Huh? Really? <laughs> and then when I saw myself like Dora the Explorer, and, and I was like, what did I do? <laughs> it's like, que hice, right? But then I, I thought, I mean, the purpose of the hair. And I said, no, 
they are going to need it more than me. But in the first, it was a very huge shock. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so, but that was, that was my reaction. That's why I love that conversation. Well, for tomorrow, thank you very much for all the ones that send the audio. Please listen to your friends' audios, people. Escuchen a los audios de los demás, no solo los dejen ahí en visto. Yeah. So okay. listen to your friends' audios. I had a lot of uh, fun listening to your audios. I enjoy it because I can see your progress. And if you do it, you advance, okay? So it is not like, Ay, no, la teacher, que fea con los audios. No, it's for you to practice. It's for you to practice, okay? But okay. Uh, it is it is always necessary. So tomorrow, today was about the weekend. Tomorrow I have another question in past. And for sure, we are going to be working a lot on these type of questions. We are going to, to do little interviews tomorrow. So tomorrow will be a lot of speaking and production. So be ready for that. Okay. And uh, that will be it. Please remember to finish your platform and to advance. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. And I am going to see you tomorrow for the next part. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye, take care. Uh, <laughs> so, yes? yes Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Yes, Ever, tell me. Bye-bye. Uh, at the end of some lessons, we have a little chart where we can add some comments. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we have to do there. Oh, at the end of some of the exercises. Yes. It, it is good that, I mean, you need to add the comments or the practices. In some cases, they say, for example, uh, create the questions or give your opinion about this. Complete. Yes. It is not part of the evaluations, but it is good for the practice, for you to complete the platform. Okay. So okay. that is something that you can out, that you can include at the end of each video, okay. right? So do it. Okay. Okay. For you to Thank you. Have a good night. Bye bye. Take care. Let's go, students. Bye bye. <laughs>